So just looking at the Galaxy S4 versus the Galaxy S3, they look almost identical. However, the Galaxy S3 has a 4.7 inch display with only 720p resolution, whereas the new Galaxy S4 features a 5 inch display, uh, full HD Super AMOLED with uh, 1080 by, I'm sorry, yeah, 1080 by 1920 resolution with 441 uh, PPI. It's powered by a new 1.9 gigahertz quad core uh, processor by Qualcomm and powered by Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. On the front here, there is a, let's see here, a 2 megapixel, let me zoom in a little bit here, 4.2 megapixel front camera. Give me just a second. Four point two megapixel camera on the front, along with all the sensors that um, allows you to do air gesture and um, let me see air gesture, air view, and smart stay and smart scroll. On the back, thirteen megapixel camera, flash, also zero shutter lag, auto focus. Starting from the right is a power button, IR, mic, 3.5mm jack, volume rocker up and down, another mic, 3.5mm jack for syncing and charging. And speaking of charging, the Galaxy S4 does have a 2600 milliamp replaceable battery as well as a memory card slot to either add 8, 1632, or 64, right there, and your SIM card slot. Right down here on the bottom left is your speaker. And the first accessory, while well, we have this off, the first accessory that I did get in to review is the S-View cover case, however you want to call it. Snaps on, just like that. It gives you all the information as you need it on this display, and it is plastic. And you can also, uh, if you get a phone call in, swipe to answer it if you need to. So let's give it a call and see what happens. So as you can see there, you get a phone call in, it notifies you, lets you know you can decline or answer. So let's say I want to swipe to answer. And now I'm talking, talking, talking. And when I'm done, I just swipe to end the phone call. And speaking of AirView, Ed Gesture, Smart Stay, and Smart Scroll, let's go ahead and give you a quick demo. In Flipboard, if you say, let's say, hover over um, Sorry about that. Hover over Slash Gear or the cover story, you'll get the latest three uh, articles. And so let's say you click on that, it brings up the article, of course. And um, Smart Scroll or Air Gesture, you basically wave your fingers over. the web page and it will scroll up and down or if you do it sideways it will scroll back and forth between tabs and this only works on the, the baked in apps that uh, is on Samsung in this case the uh, the browser that's um, baked into this OS by Samsung as I stated before the Galaxy S4 does have a new 13 megapixel camera and there are some new features that Samsung has added to the camera app or to the camera itself that allows you to take pictures or videos using the front and the rear facing camera 
simultaneously, which is really neat because like what I'm doing right now, let's say I'm uh, doing a product review, oh, just recorded myself, product review of the Galaxy S3, I can talk about it while um, you can see me as well in the, in the video. So this box here, you can increase it, decrease it in size, move it around wherever you want it. You can also add effects to the box itself. So let's say you want to use a circle or cubism. See how that works there? I just like, you know, something plain such as this square box here. You can also switch the camera around so that you can see me in the uh, front facing like I am right now talking to you. Howdy. And or just swap it around. You can end that by doing clicking that button and then let's look at the different modes. The auto mode, beauty face, best photo, best face, sound and shot, drama, animated, rich HDR, eraser. Eraser is kind of cool because it's like if you're taking a picture at the beach and you get photobomb, you can literally erase that person out of the, the picture. Panorama, sports, night, and we're back to auto. I've got these example shots in my review on SlashGear.com, so make sure to check them out. And one last thing, let's go ahead and test out that shutter lag. So let's turn on our trusty Galaxy S3. And let's take some shot samples here. And how about we turn off our flash or auto. What I do miss that I do get on the HTC One is the ability to touch, to focus, and take the shot at the same time. I couldn't find how to do that with the uh, the the Galaxy S Four.